In the race of dominant the skies of 21st century, two nations have stepped up with formidable contenders in the fifth generation Fratejet arena. Thus, China's Chengdu J20 and Sukhoi 57 by Russia. These stealth fighter jets are more than the military machines. They are a symbol of national ambition, engineering excellence, and the shifting geopolitical power. While the United States leads with the F-22 and the F-35, the J-20 and Sukhoi-57 signal that China and Russia aren't far behind, and the West is watching. But what sets these two jets apart? Which aircraft truly reflect the future of air combat? Let's take a deep dive into their design philosophies, performance metrics, avionics weaponry, and the strategic implications. The Chengdu J-20 developed by China is built around stealth range and advanced sensor integration. Its sleek blended body and radar absorbing coating make it extremely hard to detect on radar, ideal for deep penetration mission into hostile territory. By contrast, the Russian 57 emphasizes the vulnerability, rug design, and the multi-role flexibility. While it features the stealth elements, they are less pronounced than the J-20. Instead, it excels the agility, dogfighting, and all-weather battlefield operations. Avionics and sensor suits The J-20 is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar. That's likely a new generation system for long-range detection. It is also included with Electro-Optical Targeting System EOTS, and further it is also having a distributed aperture system for 360 degree situational awareness. Passive electronic measures similar to the F-35 and ASQ-239. A high bandwidth data link enabling seamless integration with other PLAF assets and unmanned teaming, which means that the other aircraft also will be networked with the J-20 aircraft. The Sukhoi 57 on the other hand features the N036 Balaka AC radar with the cheek arrays for full 360 degree coverage. L-band radars arrays in the wings of counter stealth detections. The 101KS Atoll infrared sensor suit providing the IRST directional countermeasures. A fiber optimic network sensor fusion system partially AI driven although plaqued by the software reliability issues with the Sukhoi 57. Engines and performance matrix. The G20 initially used WS10C engine, but it is transitioning to the more powerful WS15, offering thrust vectoring and limited supercruise. Its top speed is around Mach 1.8, that's around 1305 miles per hour, with combat radius of 2130 miles, that's around nearly 3400 kilometers. Service ceiling, it can coast up to 59,000 feet of altitude and it can have the climb rate of 60,000 feet per minute. The Sukhoi 57 is powered by AL41F turbofan engine, generating 42,000 pounds of thrust, it supercruise at Mach 1.3 and its Mach 2.0 up to the max speed. That's it's converting into the miles per hour, it is around nearly 1616 miles per hour at max speed. Range up to 3107 miles, that's nearly 5000 kilometers. Greater than the J20 service ceiling 65670 feet, that's climb rate is 64000 feet per minute. That's more than the J20 fighter jet. Thanks to its 3D thrust vectoring, large wing areas and aerodynamic refinement and Sukhoi 57 is a vastly superior in close combat maneuverability. Weapons and payload, the J-20 is optimized for stealth mission. Internal base, it can carry up to 4 to 6 missiles including PL-10 short range and PL-15 long range PVR missiles which having the 200 km range. External hardpoint for up to 8 missiles or ground attack weapons in non-stealth roles. No internal guns or limitation close combat scenarios. Maximum payload of around 8 tons which can carry by J-20 fighter jets.
We talk about the Sukhoi 57, which has a weapon powerhouse. It can carry up to 8 internal air-to-air -air missiles including R-77, R-73 HOBS missiles. It can be fitted with the KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles and hypersonic weapons and anti-radiation missiles. Features 14 total hardpoints with a maximum payload is 10 tons, which is more than the J-20 fighters. Equipped with 30mm autocannon providing a lethal edge in the dogfights. In J-20, it's a lax. It doesn't have any kind of weapons onto that in autocannon, which is being the GUI 50 per 7 is having right now. Operational status and export potentials. The G20 entered service in March 2017. As of 2025, over 200 units are inactive. PLF service, it has a no confirmed combat experience but extensively used in military drills and regional air patrol. China not offered its export variant, keeping it strictly for national use. In other side, the Sukhoi 57 entered service in December 2020, but only 20 to 30 units are operational by 2025. Due to slower production, Russia plans to 70 units by 2027. Unlike the J-20, the Sukhoi 57 has seen limited combat, including operations in Syria and Ukraine, offering crucial field data. Russia is aggressively pursuing exports, with India and others showing interest. If deals are confirmed, the Sukhoi 57 could become global player in the fifth generation market. Unit cost and affordability. J20 is estimated to cost between 100 to 120 million USD dollar per unit. That's why the advanced stealth coating indigenous WS15 engine developed and high-end avionic sensor suits large-scale production. Sukhoi 57 is far more economical, currently estimated to be around 35 to 50 million USD dollars, potentially rising of 70 to 80 million USD dollar with upgrades. Russia's focus on cost efficiency, small scale, and less emphasis on stealth makes its appealing choice for budget, concise for Air Force. Strategic Rules and Philosophies J-20 is built for long-range precise strikes and air dominance and deep penetration mission. It aligns with East China's goal of asserting control over Asia's specific region and the countering the US Air Force presence. The Sukhoi 57 is designed for survivability, adaptability, and combat flexibilities. It embodies the Russia's need to operate in harsh, contested environment, from icy tenders to the active war zone and counter NATO growing air power. Finally, the conclusion: the G20 Sukhoi 57 represents two very different approach in the fifth-generation fighters. China's J-20 excel in stealth network warfare and regional air dominance, when, whereas the Russia's Sukhoi 57 leads in agility, combat flexibility and cost effectiveness, while neither matches the F-35 or F-22 in full spectrum capabilities, both are tailored platform, shaped by national doctrine, battlefield requirement and strategic vision. So which jet do you think is a superior? Will the Sukhoi 57 global outreach outperform the J-20 stealth supremacy or will China's production power and network warfare edge define the sky? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cutting edge defense analysis from Jetline Marvel. If you're an aircraft engine enthusiast or hobbyist, now you can own one yourself. We offer scale models of realistic aircraft and helicopter engines, some of which are fully functional display models, perfect for educational demonstrations and presentations. For more details and to explore our collection, visit the link below. Don't forget to use our discount code at checkout to get a flat 10% off on all product.